Good morning, Mr. Picasso. Good morning. Well, my real name is Pablo Diego Los Francisco de Pura y Nipotino, Maria de los Remidos de Prino de la Santissima Trinidad with E. Picasso. But you can call me Picasso. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a long name you've got. It is. And you took your mother's surname, didn't you? Yes, I did, because she has a lovely surname. It has a lovely ring to it. Pablo yes. Picasso. Picasso. I have to ask you some questions. Is that okay? That is fine. You keep you carry on sketching if you want to. Okay. Um, first of all, you your father was a art teacher. Yes, he was, and he teaches me too. But I love painting my own way. Uh huh. And tell me, what was your first word? Pencil. <laughs> it actually was pencil. Yes, it was. And you created masterpieces. At... I do. It has taken me a lifetime to draw her like a five-year-old. But it has not taken me a lifetime to draw so well. That is true because yeah. at nine and at fifteen you created some amazing paintings. Yes, I did. Pablo, that's incredible. I think one of them at sixteen was called Science and Charity. It was. Who did it feature? Was it your father and your Yes, my father and my little sister. Okay. And you 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 moved to you were born in Malaga, but then you moved yes. to Madrid. Did you go to the famous Prada Art Museum? Oh yes, it was. I saw all the most amazing artists. So you enjoyed looking yes. at the galleries and yes. the vibrant colours and getting influenced and getting inspired about the paintings. I see. And then you moved to Paris. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, Paris is the most wonderful place, the home of dreams. It is. It's... Yes. When I went there, I had no money, so I painted my furniture. Did you really? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I painted bookshelves. Uh, beds even and you didn't have much money for material no. so you sketched a lot yes i, I did. can see you have some beautiful sketches here of your yes. dove and your dog yes and let's get could we talk really deeply now yes you had a best friend yes and he died i'm very very sad to hear that the blue period you did yes his name was carl's casamigos yes. and you were very close i was very close and his passing made you. What did you paint in your blue period? Uh, I painted beggars, prisoners, poor people, sick people. That's what you wanted and to paint. Lots of blues. Lots of different hues yes. of blue, and that went on for about three years. It did. But then. But then I went to Paris, and well, it changed because the colours, the the, it, it was so magical, and I fell in love. Ah, it so. Was, you... It doesn't want to make you paint beggars. It wants you to make. Oh, beautiful things, uh -huh. lively with colours. A bit like this clown here that you were painting. Yes. And so you painted the rose period. Yes. It was of, I even did a picture of an acrobat family. Really? And I had to do it four times to get it perfect. This is incredible. And then you had your African influence from yes. 1907. And tell me about that. You started to paint it, it was very women. modern. Very modern. Yes. And you created sort of cubes, didn't yes, you? Yes, cubes. And like the nose was here, the eyes were there. Is that because you wanted people to see yes. a body from other points of view? Yes. yes. Three dimensional. Three dimensional. Yes. I get that. And then you started your cubist period. Yes, and it was all cubes. People think it's weird, but if you look closely, you can see the detail. You did this with your friend, Brack, wasn't it? Yes. For five years, yes. you painted I together. I loved cubist. It was so, it had so much colour and also different. It was different. It was different. People didn't like, like it at first, no, did they? No, because they thought it was weird. They wanted a nice soft painting. Yes, this is exactly but right. I like to do modern. You like painting. to you like to change all the time, don't yes. you? And tell me, you invented something called collage, is it? Yes, and I was also a theatre designer, a printmaker and a sculpture. Wow, you've had a lot in your life. I you've have. created over 50,000 paintings yes. and artworks. Yes. This is incredible. Have you been happy? Oh, I have been happy indeed. You've had many yes, relationships. Yes, I've had ups and downs. Yes. Four children. Four children. And they were most wonderful. And you painted mother and child many, many yes. times. People, she was a ballerina. But when I painted her, people thought she didn't look a ballerina at all. But if you look closely, because when you're a little baby, the mother is your world to you. Oh, so you created the, yes. the painting from the point of view of the child. Yes. You're a genius. I have to say, do you have any special quotes for us, Picasso? Oh, I do. Our 
that which is away from the soul, the dust of everyday life. This is incredible. I can't thank you enough. It has been an honour to talk to you. It is my pleasure. I can't wait to look at your art again. Um, I love all your periods, from the blue to the rose to the cubist and the surrealist. Yes. What's that about? Well, is that the, the unconscious mind? Dreams. Yes, the dreams. I I dream about the paintings. It can be anything. Incredible. Thank you so much again. My pleasure. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll let you carry on your work.